Lorraine from PregnancyXL.co.nz. How are you all going? It's, is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday here in New Zealand. And we've gone through so many things this week from your core activations to how to assess your core function and strength. We've looked at your hydration. And all of these steps are your basic foundations for improving your core strength and function. And when I say function, that is the ability to do functional activity and your exercises at the gym with great technique and good core activation and breathing, okay? So good function is when we are functioning at optimal with no pain, no leaking, no diastasis, okay, etc. All right, so this morning I want to show you two exercises that will help you to continue to connect to your core muscles correctly that are suitable for everybody, pregnancy, postnatal and advanced. And again, key exercises that you can do every day. Now, if you've got a ball, perfect. If not, you're gonna sit yourself on the arm of your couch or you can sit yourself on two or three cushions, pillows and fold them over, okay, or onto a chair. It works just the same. So couch, ball, or cushion, so you need to be near your sofa. Good morning, Anna. All right, so what we're gonna start off first with is some basic breathing pelvic floor activations. Now, when you're on the ball or on your couch, because you're sitting with your full body weight down and sitting on your seat bones, you can actually feel your pelvic floor muscles lifting up and down easier than what you can when you're standing up. So you should be able to feel that little bit more of a lift. So these are great if you're practicing your pelvic floor muscle exercises because it gives your brain a little bit more feedback. Okay, so you can start off with a couple of pelvic floor lifts with your breath. All right, now I want you to put your pelvic floor and transverse together, okay? So we're placing nice deep breath in, exhale, Good. Now see how relaxed everything is at the moment. Come on, I'll take this off so you can see what we're doing. All right, so everything's quite nice and relaxed. No tension through the upper abdominals. And on the third activation, nice deep breath in. On this exhale, you're gonna lift up one leg without moving your torso. So my Leg is lifted off the floor. Drop down. Exhale. This is the leg I find hard. I've got to really work to not grip my left foot. And lifting up. Pelvic floor transverse. Can you see I'm trying to move a little bit? There we go. I've got it up, got it up. And down. All right, so let's do it again. Other side. So this is an exercise you can do every day. Deep breath in. Exhale, feel your pelvic floor lift up. Feel that you've got your transverse on and lift. And look, belly button, cleavage, nose, straight line. Okay, you've got to keep straight. Opposite sides, let's do it. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. Lift up. Oh, just. Okay, so one side is going to be harder than the other. So I'll just roll back a little bit and I'll show you how far I'm lifting up off the floor. Watch, back stays nice and straight. So that's all I'm lifting up. And what I often see with clients and my members is this happening. Okay, so you don't want to see any movement through the back or through the hips. You've got to stay, deep breath in, exhale, stay in control. All right, so practice those today and over the next few days, over this weekend, because they're perfect for core control, pelvic floor and transverse activations. Okay, so do 10 reps of those, and you're gonna do them twice, and this is your second exercise. So again, if you've not got a ball, that's okay. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer, see. So 
not see what I'm doing. Just got this for my knees. All right, so if you're on your sofa. Now, if you're pregnant, keeping very, very close so you're not pushing down at all on it. Same if you've just had your baby. Now, if you've been following those tests yesterday, you've got good activation. Just lean a little bit more body weight on to your support, so onto that sofa. All right, so now we're in this position. We've got a little bit of body weight on there. You can just relax for a second because even just having that body weight on there is enough to start to contract through your core muscles. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean into it slightly, keep the chest up, and then with an exhalation, we're gonna lift the arm. All right, now, awesome exercise. Now, what you don't wanna see, this is perfect on your couch, so lean into your sofa, exhale. Good, now I'm gonna show you with this side, what you don't wanna see is any twisting. You've got to keep your belly button forward. You've got to keep the connection controlling through the tension. So you may, some of you, this is what I do with my, my pregnant clients. It's a great exercise to do this. I just come from here. So you might be just here. All right, so with minimal weight onto the ball and you're working through this lift here. So it's a great, and that's where you'll be if you're using your sofa. If you're on that level two and three for no more mommy tummy, come out a little bit. Come on out onto your knees and challenge yourself through that core activation. So two exercises that I want you guys to do to the level that you can over the weekend. All right, so that's, that's the challenge for you. You've got your leg lifts trying to keep still. Hey, and if you can't keep still when you're doing these leg lifts, you're not on level three, okay? So this is between a level one and a level two on the normal mommy tummy challenge. And again, yes, you are gonna find differences on each side, but I want you to eventually to try and think palms turned out so you can relax and keep still. So two great core exercises for you all today. I hope you're enjoying the taster series. Hi Anna, oh you're at Serbia and it's 11 o'clock at night though. Wow, well done for, for watching and listening. It's 10 o'clock in the morning here in New Zealand or just gone. And I've just done a body balance class as well because I felt I needed a little bit of a stretch today. Um, so go on, make sure everybody remember you need to get on and join the Normal Mummy Tummy Challenge now so you can get all your access details. Have a look at the levels and workouts that you need to follow. Have a look at the food plan and the eating plan and you can start to have a look at the stretch and balance sessions as well that are included in the no more mummy tummy challenge i'm going to set you these challenges up i will post them so you've got your these two exercises that i want you to do over the weekend and try and perfect these along with still thinking about your core muscles throughout the day and your hydration all right have a fantastic weekend, everybody. I won't be on live over the weekend. Um, I will see you all on Monday. And keep me posted. Keep the questions coming in. Anything you're not sure about, post girls. Any workouts that you want to see, what you're not sure about in the normal mommy tummy challenge, just ask away and I will answer them all. Okay, everybody. Have a great Friday or Thursday evening if that's you. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye, everyone.